Oh yeah, today we're gonna be grabbing some items on the meal plan and some sweets. We're starting here in Camp Snoopy. Let's check out what they have here on the meal plan. And here you can grab the, the Vixen scallop potato and ham. We grabbed that last week. We're here for the mac and cheese burger with jalapenos and sriracha ketchup. On our way to Grizzly Lodge, we stopped in to check out some of the merch at Peanuts headquarters and we found this. They have a Peanuts Christmas lounge fly man and this is pretty awesome. This is two times bigger than a lounge fly that you will get at Disneyland. But look at this, dude, they're skating here. This is one thing I love, look at Snoopy, watch. You can get, oh, wee! And on the back you have this Snoopy and Woodstock man, but inside is where it's at. Look how deep it is inside, bro. Plus, you have Snoopy and Woodstock building a snowman and ice skating. You have an additional pocket on the inside, plus you have a pocket on both sides here. And wait for it. You see this snowflake right here? All you have to do is open this like so, and there's another pocket. And this one, look, this one goes pretty deep too, dude, look. Whoa! You can get your very own lounge fly for $85, and if you are a Knott's Pass holder, you do get a discount on this. One thing I will say, supplies are limited, and these go really, really quick. And now to the burger! Here is the macaroni burger. Let's open it up. You can see you got sriracha, you got jalapenos up in there, you got the macaroni, and the burger on the bottom. How would this burger contend with the other two that we had last week? There's really nothing special about this burger. It's a hamburger with macaroni, jalapenos, and sriracha. Now that being said, the food here at Grizzly Lodge really gravitates more toward kids than adults. And let me tell you, kids are gonna love this burger. The first bite I took of the burger, I was like, eh. And then I took a second bite, and then a third bite, and a fourth bite, and it really did grow on me. So this hamburger right here for me, is gonna get a seven out of 10. But if you don't like spicy stuff, I will say, ask them to put the jalapenos and sriracha on the side. Now stay tuned later for the week for our merch hunt video. But let's rate those three hamburgers. I'm gonna say sitting in the number one spot is going to be the pot roast. Number two is gonna be the cranberry turkey burger. And number three is gonna be the macaroni burger. Now let's head off to Wilderness Broiler. We've made it a wilderness broiler. Here, you're able to grab the orange chicken over fries. Here's the orange chicken over fries. Now, since Fiesta Village is under construction, they have some La Papa Loca items here. Let's make sure to get some chicken and some french fries. This sauce smells really sweet. Now, this is a weird combination. Now, I do like the chicken. The outside of the chicken was nice and crunchy, and it is a white meat. I think if this dish had rice instead of the french fries, this would have been a solid 7 out of 10. But the current state it is in with the french fries, like I said, this is an odd combination. It's going to have to get a 5 out of 10 for me. But before we get onto the sweets, let's go ahead and listen to the carolers. Carolers, take it away. Now 
now it's time to snag some sweets. We've made it back here to Boardwalk Barbecue. We're snagging three of the desserts, the pumpkin cream trifle, the gingerbread cookie, and the pumpkin spice cake. Now they didn't have the pumpkin spice cake there, but we'll definitely get that at the bakery a little later on. Here are two items that you can get at Boardwalk Barbecue. The one on the left is gonna be the gingerbread cookie, and this is the pumpkin trifle. Let's go to the gingerbread cookie first. I thought that gingerbread cookie was soft at Grand California. This is way softer than that. No, average cat, don't do what you did to Mickey to me. John's <laughs> Berry Farm's gingerbread cookie is on point. I will say it is two times softer than the one that you can get at Grand California Hotel. You do get the nice spices that you get in here. And one thing I did like, the molasses flavor in here is stronger than the one you get at the Grand. This gingerbread cookie for me is going to get a solid eight out of 10. If you're here at Knott's Berry Farm and you love gingerbread cookies, I highly recommend you checking this out. Next up is the pumpkin trifle. And there are multiple layers here. You have the pumpkin cake at the bottom, followed by some of this cream, more cake, cream, and look at that caramel on top. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of everything. The pumpkin trifle was okay. Now the upside of the pumpkin trifle was the cake itself. It was nice, fluffy, and airy. Um, outside of that, I really didn't get like a nice little punch to the pumpkin flavor in it. And the cream itself really just reminded me of like a vanilla. Uh, this pumpkin trifle for me is gonna get a five out of 10. Now, if you're looking to get a pretty good dessert, I would for sure go with the gingerbread cookie or the fun bun. Don't forget the bread pudding. Oh, for sure, that bread pudding was really good. The next sweet we're grabbing is right here at the Churro Factory. And here you can get two items. You can grab the Comet Cinnamon Sugar Pretzel Bites, but we're gonna go ahead and grab the Cinnamon Sugar Churro with a Spanish Hot Chocolate Dip and Sip. This is looking pretty good. Here is the churros and that cocoa, dude. This looks really chocolatey compared to like regular hot chocolate. Now, one thing to keep in mind about the churros here at the Churro Factory is these are handmade. Let's try the churro by itself. This churro is bringing back memories of a churro that I used to get when I was little at the Redondo Beach Pier. Now let's dip it into the chocolate. Personally, me, I think the churro is a lot better by itself than dipping it in. When you do dip the churro in, you lose a lot of the cinnamon and sugar that gives it that churro flavor. Before I give my final review, let's try the cocoa by itself. Oh, now this is like really, really chalky, like a dark chocolate. And I think I'm getting a little spice to this, dude. Like there's a little heat in this. Warning, if you do not like spice, don't get this cocoa because there is some spice in here and it doesn't catch your palate, but it catches the back of your throat. Now, I'm a huge fan of spice, so I do like this. I like how chocolatey this is, even though I'm not like a huge fan of chocolate. And the churro itself, as you can see, is thicker than most churros. The outside is a little hard, while the inside is nice and soft. This wasn't a bad dessert. I'm gonna go ahead and give this Spanish churro and hot cocoa a six out of 10. We have one more food item on today's food adventure. We're here at the Ghost Town Bakery where you can also get the pumpkin spice cake. So no cigar today on the pumpkin spice cake, dude. I knew we should've got it at Grizzly Lodge, man. I just knew it. But we grabbed the gingerbread brownie. Now this is pretty thick. I'm a huge fan of gingerbread and it has some pecans on top. Let's see what this gingerbread brownie's all about. It's a brownie and it tastes like gingerbread. I give it a six out of 10. That's it, I'm done. No more, no more today. No reviews, no more reviews. So this doesn't remind me of a brownie, 
whatsoever, even though the tag in there says a brownie. I think this is a fudge, dude. This is a gingerbread fudge because it doesn't remind me of a brownie whatsoever. If this is a brownie, yeah, it's getting a 5 out of 10. But if this is a fudge, the fudge is going to get a 7 out of 10. It's nice and cold. You don't get like a real punch of the molasses or the spices in it. It kind of reminds me more of like maybe a maple fudge more than anything. Nonetheless, though, if this is a fudge, it's pretty good. If it's a brownie, forget about it. Forget it. Why am I back here doing reviews, man? How'd you get me back here? I'm done. I'm done. Well, that's going to be it for us today here for another Knott's Mary Farm food adventure. I really appreciate every single one of your support, man. The channel is what it is today because of every single one of you. I just make silly little videos and upload it, and you guys are the ones that watch it, man. So thank you for all your support. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead, go down below and subscribe because I would love to have you on future adventures. Well, every single one of you have a great day, and I will catch you next video. Deuces! Deuces!